Hello, Scorpio. I'm here today with a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. So anyone with Scorpio strongly in their charts could resonate with this message. But again, this message won't be for everyone. It just um, won't fit for everyone. Hopefully um, you'll be able to tell, you'll be able to discern if this is your story um, or not. Okay, Scorpio, um, I invite you here, my beautiful friends, into this space just as you are, just as you are in this moment. I invite you in. All right, let's see what um, is the current energy for the sign of Scorpio. What is the current energy for the sign of Scorpio, please? What is the current energy for the sign of Scorpio? Current energy for the sign of Scorpio, please. Current energy for the sign of Scorpio. Current energy, please. Current energy. Current energy. Okay. Scorpio, uh, my heater will be going on and off intermittently. It's cold here right now. Future energy, future wave of energy that Scorpio will be stepping into. Future wave of energy that Scorpio will be stepping into, please. Future wave of energy that Scorpio will be stepping into. Energy. Future wave of energy. This is a big one. This is a big reading. Future wave of energy that Scorpio would be stepping into. Future wave of energy. Oh man, I just. Four of Wands here. I landed. Oh man. Okay, let me use my. Future wave of energy, please. Future wave of energy. Right. Guidance, guidance for Scorpio, please. Guidance for the Scorpio tribe. Sun flipped over. Guidance for the Scorpio tribe, please. Guidance for the Scorpio tribe. Guidance for the Scorpio tribe, please. Guidance for the Scorpio tribe. Guidance for the Scorpio tribe. There's a lot of flippers here. There's a, there's a lot to be said. This is going to be an interesting reading. I haven't seen very many of the energies either. Um, guidance here for the Scorpio tribe. Guidance for the Scorpio tribe. Guidance for the Scorpio tribe. I just feel like there's one more energy here. Guidance for the Scorpio tribe. And in the pre-shuffle and in the meditation, the High Priestess came out, first energy. Okay. All right, Scorpio, it's three minutes, 29 seconds. Let's go ahead and begin the reading. Let's see what the story is. First, for the Scorpio tribe, we have the Ten of Swords in the upright. We have the Two of Swords in the upright. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Page of Cups. And we have the Knight of Cups. Dang, Scorpio. <laughs> what have you all got going on? Boy, oh boy. Well, there's definitely victory here. I'm definitely smiling even though I can see all these swords. Good Lord. But there's a smile coming. Oh my gosh, there's a smile here, Scorpio. <laughs> but to get to the smile, I have to go through the swords. Okay, let's go. So we have the Ten of Swords next to the, next to the Two of Swords, next to the Eight of Swords. <laughs> oh, my beautiful friends. You guys have been through something here. It's been a difficult period of time. 
I mean, my brain even feels numb, especially my right side. So there's some right brain activity here, whatever that means for all of you brainiacs. I don't know, but I just feel a numbness in the right brain. <sighs> well, what I'm seeing is there, there's definitely new clarity here. There's been, there's new clarity here about what's kept you trapped. Honestly, I mean, I think that there is an epiphany here that you're experiencing at this moment. There, there is some sort of, of, a, of epiphany, um, that you are now contemplating, um, how to find closure on this, how to find, um, the words to express how you feel, how to find the actions, um, that you should take now. Um, again, I feel like there's an ending here. There is some sort of clarity, um, about what the situation was. So there's clarity here. And this clarity is allowing you to step away from a situation that um, kept you in some sort of a mindset that wasn't healthy. I mean, it seems kind of cliche, um, but I feel like this was resulting from a situation that was a long time ago, perhaps. Um, something that happened a long time ago that could have affected how you thought about yourself or your situation or your family or your people or your culture or your work. Something here had a long-term effect on how you thought about life, how you thought about your journey. And um, it kept you trapped in a cycle of thought that perpetuated a continuum of conflict. And the words are of meaning, my friends, because there was a certain flow that you lived in that had its own rhythmic movement. But even in that rhythmic movement, there was still a continual creation of a certain type of conflict. Uh, Scorpio, I'm not quite sure what this all means, um, but it's coming forward in a way that um, is expressed. I'm expressing it in the trust that you will receive it as it is meant to be received. So there is a depth to this movement. I think that what this is telling me as I pull out of now, I'm pulling out of that energy, um, what that was telling me is that you were swimming quite deep in this situation. Um, this could have happened a long time ago. It could have been a relationship that you had. It could have been um, an experience or a, uh, a, a systematic um, process that you um, went through when you were a child or as an early adult um, that kept you quite trapped in something, whether it was a career, whether it was um, within a relationship itself. Um, but you definitely felt trapped. And I think this was from a long time ago. Now that I'm out of that energy, I can feel it a little bit better. I went pretty deep into that energy. It was emotional and it, you felt it with your full heart. I think that for those of you that were in love relationships, this was a situation that you felt extremely deeply. You had a lot of love here. Um, this could have pulled you in quite deeply into the situation and it took you a while to pull yourself back out and to see what had actually happened in the situation. So, for those of you that were in um, relationships um, that had to do with intimate love, um, it, this could have been a long-term relationship that you had been in for quite some time um, that really changed the way you thought or impacted the way you thought. You could have gotten into a relationship when you were quite young um, with someone and um, you you continued your development in this relationship. And this relationship, um, this, this partnership between two people could have... Um, created its own kind of energy, its own dialogue, its own um, rhythm that you fell into. And ultimately there, there needed to be some change. And so as you move through the change, um, you began to see the patterns there. You began to see the way the water moved so that um, you could see how you, how you got your, it's almost like 
Yeah, Scorpio, I, I feel like you're coming out of a cycle. This relationship could have ended a while ago, or this situation could have ended a while ago, um, but it has taken you some time to really pull yourself away from um, that pattern um, and to find freedom. I think you're at the end of it now. You've seen the clarity, and um, you are moving forward in a different way. You've found freedom now. Um, you, you really ultimately have found some freedom here um, with the Two of Swords. Um, between the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords. This tells me there's there's an ending to this and, and perhaps not an ending to the, the relationship per se or the job or the career or um, how you merged and mingled with your community or your family, but an ending to the way of thought and the perspective um, and the mindset that kept you trapped within the pain of it, kept you trapped within the illusion of it. And what I mean illusion, it doesn't mean an illusion of grandeur. It means an illusion of um, that you were um, less than what you truly are. What you truly are is profoundly beautiful. Um, what you truly are is um, empowered and strong and courageous and brave and beautiful and intelligent. Um, this is what you truly are. You are a special person um, who has um, just as much hierarchy and just as much right to joy as the next person. You are not diminished. You are not lesser than. I am not speaking to those who think that they are special um, and that they are above the law, that they are above um, the righteous. I am speaking to those of you who have felt that you were quite diminished, that you were less than, that you were not worthy. The, this is who I'm speaking to in this moment. And I feel like there has been a new freedom here um, that you're beginning to feel in life. Um, ultimately, this is the bigger story, okay? This is the bigger story of where you are. Um, it, now, as we narrow in, I do feel like there is something on your horizon here that you're beginning to experience with this new inspiration and this energy of love. Um, so as you pull yourself out of the Eight of Swords and, and find a new way of walking, find a new way of seeing yourself and seeing the world around you, um, this is an inspirational moment for you. This is a moment where you're feeling the warmth of the universe, the brilliance of the cosmos, and um, the comfort um, that that um, the earth can provide to you. Um, and I think it's quite inspiring, and it warms your heart, and it allows you to think about and dream about and wish about opening up new doors for yourself. Um, this is truly a warm candlelight um romantic type of feeling that I'm that I'm feeling in the page of cups energy we do have an energy of love um, I I think for many of you this is learning how to move forward in a more healthy way in a more loving way with love um, within yourself and and true understanding of the power of self-love and moving forward into your future um, with a much more powerful and healthy and blissful kind of energy um, as you move forward. Um, for some of you, there is an introduction here, a new introduction here of um, someone um, in your life, in your journey. It doesn't have to be a lover. It doesn't have to be an um, introduction of a new um, intimate partner, but it is an introduction of a love energy and it is moving forward at this time. Um, so, you know, you're going to have to kind of claim this reading for how it really fits with you. But for some of you, there is um, a new person here coming in um, that you're experiencing now, some sort of new person you've been introduced to, um, a new job offer that uh, fills you with some sort of of um, joy and happiness and love for the world, for the universe. Um, but there is definitely here a new energy that's why I'm saying there is a new introduction of something here that warms your heart. It could be a message of love coming to you from a friend, from a grandparent, um, from a child, um, or it could be a new introduction here to someone who will play a role um, in intimate love, perhaps in love for humanity, love for animals, um, something here um, with this love energy. And this love energy is on the move. And almost I feel it, this love energy is connected to this new clarity that I see here, because I think if you weren't able to see it, to have the clarity to end this cycle, um, you, you certainly wouldn't be experiencing this new um, love energy that's here. 
So, so definitely here you're ending some side of a, some sort of a painful cycle in your life. You're moving out um, of a perspective or a mindset or a confused um, perception of of the world and moving forward towards a new love affair, towards a new intimate partner, towards a new um, and compassionate love of self and of the world, um, love of humanity and of the of the animals and the living beings that we we find ourselves um, living among and stepping through. So it's definitely a beautiful energy, but you have earned it. You have gained it through hard work. You have dug deep within yourself and found clarity within the mind. And having a clear mind um, is, is something that truly um, brings balance into your world. Um, so I see you in a very powerful place right now. I'm in a very loving energy and a very healthy energy and having something here coming in that really warms the heart and sets you into a, into a balanced emotional place. Um, so that's really exciting, Scorpio. And I do feel like, um, it does have some, some connection to the last um, period of Scorpio. I, I honestly do because I, when we are flipping, um, through the, some very strong Scorpio energies flipped over as I was shuffling. And that tells me that there, um, it was some significant growth during, during your last, um, um, period where the Scorpio energy was really strong. So I think this for, for many of you, this could be a newer type energy that's here. Really exciting Scorpio. Let's see what's ahead, um, for you in, in the, in the near future here. And as I, um, after I get done with this reading, I'm going to take a short rest and I'll come back and do an extended and dig deeper into a few of these energies that are here. All right, let's see what's here for, for the sign of Scorpio in the current energy, what Scorpio is connecting in with. I was going to say, that's not it. That's guidance. All right, here we go. There is some sort of relationship or foundation or internal structure that you have worked um, to overcome. And we see as you move into this brand new level, into this brand new journey that's full of significance, that's full of bliss and happiness, um, that's full of stability and long-term gain, we see you stepping out of um, a period of time where you uh, soon realized or for a long time realized that what you were experiencing, what you were stepping into every day or stepping into every night um, was not healthy for you. And it had something to do with a relationship um, or a business structure or something here that created um, a foundational structure for you. And it has something to do with passion. It had something to do with the actions that you took every day. Um, so for many of you, this was a relationship. Um, for others of you, this was a career or an occupation. Um, but whatever it was, it um, really, it, it, the, the tiredness that it created in you, the emptiness that it brought to you, um, the, the boredom or the lack of passion, um, that, that was, was not there or was there. Um, it created a space for unhealthy behaviors, or there could have been even medicinal treatments or, um, ways that you found sanctuary within the pain of it. Um, ways that weren't healthy for you. Um, there could have been anger here. There could have been resentment. Um, there could have been passive aggressive sort of communication where we're filled with resentment, um, but we don't really know how to say it, nor can we perhaps say it at all. And so we begin to function um, trying to be peaceful, trying to be happy, trying to be helpful in our lives. But underneath we have resentment welling, we have anger dwelling. 
and we have insecurity that builds up within us. And so those moments, that pain, that anger, um, that fear that's within us bubbles out at certain times. Um, it can cause self-destruction in our own lives. It can cause arguments. It can cause misunderstandings. Um, but more than anything, it can cause um, a general sense of toxic energy um, that really can permeate through all areas of life um, if we aren't able to, to see it and correct it. Um, what I see here is that you are stepping again as you move through the next couple of weeks. You will continue to step out of this out of this energy. And um, when the uh, sometimes there's pictures that are shown to me, my friends. So please give me a moment. Um, what they're showing me is as you're stepping out into a fresh, clean slate, or into a new job, or into a new relationship, or into new freedom. Um, there is an energy that's still around you and within you. And um, the blast of the wind, as you open the new doors, as you open up the windows to the fresh air, um, it will take some time, almost like a wind machine, um, blowing away the old energy, blowing away the old feelings, the old thoughts. It's going to take a little bit of time because sometimes that energy can linger around us. Um, it is within us through and through. It can be within our subconscious. It can be within our conscious mind. Um, it can be within our body, stored in our organs, in our body. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time for the wind of change to blow out the old energy. Um, Scorpio, please give yourself some time as you change to allow um, your behaviors to change, your habits to change, the way you think, the way that you, that you think and process um, the experiences that you step into. It's going to take a little bit of time to make the transition. Please. Um, be compassionate towards yourself, um, be, be tolerant towards yourself, because it can take some time to transition um, into a brand new space. Um, so we see you uh, working on that, um, exiting out of some sort of relationship or some sort of mindset or a foundation that you once um, really um, created an identity around and moving out of a certain identity, moving out of a certain way of thinking, um, and moving into a brand new, beautiful future. So we see this transition currently taking place, even in this moment, and it will continue to take place as you move into the next couple of weeks. Um, so I'm, I'm reading these energies as really big energies, um, but we have to remember this is just the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks, and not a whole lot usually happens within that period of time. So for some of you, um, this could be uh, such a thing as even, I don't know, it could be, a smaller um, part of life. Um, this could be learning about um, a friendship that you have and, and realizing um, that the friendship isn't healthy. It could be about um, realizing that a certain thing that you do throughout the week, whether it is a certain type of exercise that you're doing or a certain type of food that you're eating or um, a, a project that you're working on at work or um, some capacity of the business that you own. There's something here that you're realizing it's not healthy for you and you um, don't really like doing it and it's created some kind of conflict, it's created some kind of negative energy um, and you're working to transition out of that. So it can be much smaller than the energies that I um, am, am swimming around in Scorpio. But for some of you, this is a bigger picture. And I think sometimes these weekly readings that I'm doing are gifts to those who are making major life transitions, but also can be helpful for those people who are moving through um, some kind of smaller, but still um, difficult, difficult um, experience in life. So it just depends on how this fits in your life and how it resonates with you. Now, towards the end of the period of, of the two week period or three week period, or however long this is for you, um, there is new movement now. And the, and the new movement that you're in, um, there is some kind of energy that you get swept up in here with the Knight of Pentacles. Now I say swept up, the Knight of Pentacles moves quite slowly. Um, but I do feel like you are jumping onto the back of this Knight of Pentacles here. Um, there is space there for you, my friends. And so I feel like you're jumping on the back of this Knight of Pentacles and riding forward with this knight into a brand new future here, a future of happiness, a future of success, a future of um, joy and emotional fulfillment. And with the world, this is a new beginning that's starting for you. Um, and, and as you end here, some kind of toxic situation, there is a beautiful new start. So um, whether this is a new project that you're taking on, um, a new hobby that you've found for yourself, a new friend that comes along that, that brings um, 
new joy into the into the human experience whatever it is um this could be a virgo capricorn or taurus um, again we have a capricorn energy here we had scorpio pisces cancer before um, this could be someone who's younger than you doesn't have to be might not be um, but we did have a page of cups here which is a which is a younger um, a younger type energy um, but we definitely have, uh, I feel like there is someone else here, a friend, a family member, a brother or sister, um, someone here could be a lover, could be someone new that you meet, um, that you're kind of joining up on now and stepping forward into some sort of, of real bliss and happiness. Um, something has happened here that has um, really brought new life to your world. And it's not a situation that's going to come in and go out quickly. It's something that's here to stay for some time, Scorpio. It's here to stay for some time. It's it's long term. It's a long term, stable, progressing energy. Um, it is going to be helpful. It is going to help in your abundance. It's going to help your um, third dimensional experience. It is a more abundant energy. Yes, it's slow moving, um, but we all have learned through life that the energies that are um, secure and stable and long-term often move much more slowly um, than the faster moving energy. Sometimes the faster moving experiences come in and go out in a whirlwind. Um, the Knight of Pentacles never does that. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is slow to arrive, very steady, very significant, and is here to stay for some time. So we do see you currently continuing this transition um, from this old, this old, platform or this old experience here and moving into a much more happy, um, blissful type of experience. I, I do feel like, honestly, there could be some narcissis narcissistic traits or some personality disorders or something here um, that you were caught up in, whether this is a relationship, it could be a boss at work, um, a, a group dynamic here, um, whatever with this Four of Wands. Um, the Four of Wands is a very passionate soul energy very um, de uh, devout, um, soul soul binding kind of energy. So whatever this was, you were bound in this for quite some time. Here um, could be a career you had. Um, it could be a love affair that you were having. Whatever it was, you were bound here for quite some time, and you are transitioning out now, um, and and joining up with someone, or merging with someone, or or um, finding your own happiness here um, with this new love energy that you're moving forward in. Um, so now again, we have two nights. So you're definitely in action. You're definitely moving forward into something new. Um, it does have to do with love and it has to do with stability because we have the Knight of Cups here with the Knight of Pentacles. So it's love and stability, a brand new journey here, a new world uh, is opening up for you. And it's a world of joy, a world of bliss, a world of happiness and um, certainly a world of emotional fulfillment. So you're, you're seeing the polarities within the next couple of weeks. You're making a huge transition or some kind of a transition here, depending on what you're working on. You could have a project that um, you could have a contractor that you've been working with who um, is not is not listening, is not being a partner in this endeavor, is not helping, is creating drama, is creating, um, perhaps this person is lying or being um, deceiving in their business practices. And you're moving forward with, with a new, um, with a new contractor now that, um, understands, um, what you, what you mean and is willing to, um, start over on the project. And, and this is happy. This is happiness. This is success. This is success because we have the 10 of cups over the Knight of pentacles. Um, so it could be in, in any kind of situation, the energies are the same. Um, it's the energies that we're reading, not really the examples that I'm giving, but the energies that we're reading here that will be, um, if, if you're resonating with this, so that will be participating in your future as you move forward. So ultimately, this is a really exciting reading for you um, because it does talk about a transition and it does talk about stable improvement, um, something with finances or stability or um, financial freedom that you're moving towards here um, is a brand new opportunity here, a brand new beginning, a, a, a new door opening here that's going to bring in a lot of happiness and bliss um, and emotional fulfillment. So it's it's mixed. These two energies are mixed. 
we have a we have a, a goal of blissfulness, a goal of happiness, a goal of emotional fulfillment, and we also have a goal of, impro of improved financial um, uh, and improved financial picture and improve financial gain. All right, let's see here what's what's in store. Um, let's see what guidance um, is coming forward for us now, Scorpio. So let's understand the guidance here, the guidance that's here. Guidance that's here, please. We have temperance in the upright, three of swords in the reverse. We have page of pentacles in the upright with the high priestess in the upright. So, uh, Scorpio, the way I'm doing reversals now is that I have all of um, the cards um, here in the upright in the deck. And if they flip as they come out, then that is a reversal. And that um, I am keeping in the readings. So that's how I've decided to do reversals. Um, and I'm really happy with it and it's working out really well. And I feel like it does give spirit just a little bit extra way, um, uh, an extra method of working um, messages into the readings. So we have temperance here. So there's guidance here of patience, patience and compassion for the situation as you move forward. Understanding that sometimes situations can be complicated and it takes some time to transition. So we do have a guidance here to be patient, to allow yourself time to allow yourself to transition in a stable way. Um, sometimes when we move too fast or make too big of changes, there can be um, further conflict or there can be some sort of reversals happening um, where we have to backtrack and, and redo it. You know, we've all been there before. Um, so there is guidance here to be patient, to be compassionate with yourself and with others, to um, give this time to work itself out, that your spiritual team is walking next to you and is participating in this with you. And they do have a role to play, my beautiful friends. So um, talk to them, um, speak to them, be in silence with them, and um, co-create with them. We do have the Three of Swords here in reverse. So I do feel like you're moving out of this um, anxious, stressful, debilitating time. Um, the pain that could have been around you or... or um, wounding in the heart, wounding in the mind. Um, this pain is beginning to um, sink away, to float away, um, to be dissolved as you're moving forward in this process. You do have some really, um, you will you will begin to see some um, very promising changes that will begin happening for you, Scorpio. Um, there will be some um, inclinations or some sort of um, indications of success here, of progress. You could be tracking this. You could be keeping a timeline. You could be um, watching how a product sells or how, how um, people rate a service. And you could be seeing um, a, a, a tendency or a trajectory of success. Um, the Page of Pentacles is um, increased improvement, but it's nothing major. But it does bring a sense of anticipation and um, inclination and promise of future success. So you are going to begin to see here very soon some sort of tangible improvements. Um, and this will help fuel your strength. It will help fuel the passion inside you. And it will help you keep move, moving forward. Because of course, for many of us, success and financial success, it does take time to, to trek, to journey, to hike, to climb this, um, this, this path of abundance, this path of um, success or love or whatever this journey is for you, it does take time to trek these journeys. And I think what is coming forward here is to continue to see your victories, to express your gratefulness, um, to track your successes here so that you can continue to see the evidence of the improved journey. We do have the high priestess energy. This is the, the energy, the high, I love the high priestess energy. Um, the high priestess energy is um, an energy that any man or woman can have within them. It is the internal, the eternal um, spiritual energy, much like the Hierophant is the external world. It is society. The Hierophant is society, um, uh, groups of people with the same mindsets. It's about churches and ministries. Um, the, the high priest is, is the internal energy, um, the energy of um, spiritualism or the energy of religious expression, the energy of um, how we connect in with the divine energy, with source energy. It is the energy of wisdom, the energy of knowing, the energy of um, very strong intuition and guidance from our own spiritual team. So 
Um, there is guidance here to, to keep, to continue to keep, um, to continue to connect in with your spiritual teams, continue to listen, continue to allow yourself to be guided. Um, you are working in tandem here very closely. Also, um, there is guidance here to continue moving forward, to um, watch what you say and where you say it. Um, when we have the high priestess, the high priestess is able to control the words she says. She's able to control her actions. She could um, have the deep self-assurance to not always need the verbal approval of others to know deep within herself that she is on a track that is healthy and powerful for her and that um, she doesn't always need to express it to everyone. She's very secure with what she's doing. She's so secure with the guidance that she receives from her team. She's secure with her relationship with her um, inner, inner self um, and the guidance that she connects into. And um, the, the the energy that I'm feeling when I'm connecting into her, it's almost like a, if you can tell, like I'm slowing down, this is like a meditative energy. Continue to find solace, continue to find your sanctuary, continue to meditate and connect in with your um, spiritual team. There's an energy of meditation and deep subconscious work. So some of you are certainly working within the subconscious at this point. Um, this can happen in meditation. This can happen as we go deep, um, into a very quiet space where we can um, take our energies and move our energy deep within the brain. Um, there is work being done in the subconscious, whether it is decoding or changing the way you think, but there is definitely work that's being done in the subconscious, and that is happening when you're in meditation or when you're connecting in with your team. Um, and the guidance here is to continue in that way um, because there's um, new healing that can happen with that, new doorways that can be opened, new levels of knowledge and wisdom that can be attained, and you can unlock your superpowers when you go into the subconscious. Um, so those are the messages that are coming out here for Scorpio, and I just looked at the clock and we're at 37 minutes. I just don't know sometimes where the time goes when I do these readings, and I always feel like apologizing because I sometimes the readings um, can go on longer than I expect, but that's what happens when we allow messages to come forward in this way. All right, Scorpio, I am going to um, take a rest now and get my bearings, and I'll be digging into um, a few energies here, and then I'll be looking at the people who are around you and their intentions. So the energies that I will be um, digging into are this Page of Cups with the Knight of Cups energy. I'm going to be digging into um, this New World energy I will be digging, so so the energies I'm going into in the extended are the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups here. I'm going to be going into the World Energy, the Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles to see what else we can get out of those energies. And then after I'm done with that, we will look at the people who are around you and dig into what those people's intentions are as you move forward. Thank you very much, Scorpio, for giving me the opportunity to go into your energy um, and I wish you all the best in this me meaningful week of the last week of the last month of the last year of the decade. Thank you very much, Scorpio. It is always a pleasure.